The first state championship was fun. It was easy. There was no pressure, no tradition. Just playing the game and winning. Making your city proud. The second one felt easier than the first, and that was just a taste of being on top. Everyone likes you. Even the people you never met before. Everything came easy, and I liked it. Now it's become a job. And realistically, that's what it is. The third championship is just to be expected. Anything less is a failure. I'm gonna play college ball and go to the NFL. That's what everyone wants to see. I feel like a robot sometimes. Like just flip the switch and I'm on. The games feel like a blur. Five touchdown game after five touchdown game. Neither one feels more significant than the other. I don't feel like I'm competing with anyone anymore. I feel like I'm playing for the cameras. And if I show fault, I have to deal with that pressure that falls on me. And when I talked to Coach Eiffel about my decision and what my college guidance counselor had told me, he asked me why did I play football to begin with? I didn't understand the question, or maybe I just didn't know how to answer it. I, I just like football. That's why I play it. I love the game, and I don't want to be taken away from it. Before I could answer, Coach said, What about the other ten guys on the field with you when you play on either side? What about the friendships and the brotherhood you have with this team? You become so wrapped up in worrying about the next step that you're not focused on what's right here in front of you. He said, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. But sometimes you can't worry about what other people want from your life. This is your life. And you only get one. Congrats, you're going to Northwestern. You should be proud. But I've got a team of 60 plus kids, your peers, who have fought for each other and fought for you. Forget what Callahan said. I know you've still got some football in you. And I know damn well when you leave here, you're going to be playing for those Wildcats. But right now, I need you here and focused and to fight for and with your teammates out there. Don't quit on us. I have tons of love for the guys on this team. But school and all the non-stop sports activity is taking its toll. I mean, after this is done, I'm in a pool for three months. Then I'm on the mound for another three months. All I ever think about is the end of the year. I think about skating and partying when my teammates just become my friends. Just finally being free. I played as if somebody had removed 15 pounds of weight off my shoulders. I wasn't playing for a scholarship anymore. I was playing for the Montclair Knights. It felt like I could see the holes better and I hit them hard. I was running in the open field for most of the game, and most importantly, I wasn't playing with any stress. And we played our best game as a team. But none of the cameras come to see my wideouts, Marshall Mitts or Gerard Steele catch the ball. And they sure as hell don't care about the defense. At the end of the day, it's all about me and what I do on the field, and where I'm going next year. And I can't show any other emotion in front of the camera except those that are the example in leadership and excellence that Commander Shepard is. It's all a giant performance. But then again, all that matters to them is performance. And we started to feel like they were fast forwarding. There were no games that were bigger than the next one. We just took everything one game at a time. And the game actually started to become really fun. It's kind of crazy how just a change of mindset and focus can completely flip your performance and happiness. And as a leader, when you bring that to the table, it's really infectious. And everyone starts to feel it. And I definitely had an extra spring in my step for this game. When I got loose, I made sure the defense knew about it. And 
even when the defense could get a hand on me, I didn't make their job easy. It was awesome just dragging guys with me for every yard that I fought. And going into the fourth, Coach Eichel told me to keep playing as hard as I was because I was 40 yards away from 200. I've never been close to 200. And with time winding down, I made sure we got the ball back so I could get it. When we got back on offense, coach continued to dial up handing the ball off to me. He only had to do it three times. And the last carry felt that much more special because now I felt like I could come back next week and do it all over again. First snap of the game here for Lakewood. Shepard drops back the pass, looking. Steps up, he's gonna run straight up the middle. Takes a bit of a lick. Lakewood coming out now for their second play. They've got uh, two wide and they're lined up in the eye formation. Shepard, very uncharacteristic in his last game. Two turnovers. Uh, we're going to see if he turns it around here today. And Shepard takes the snap here on play action. Steps up. He's going to start off with a quick pass out to his fullback for a quick gain of Second and one now. Shepard back out in the eye formation. Two wide. Runs another play action. Another dump off to the fullback. Threw it 45 times in the last contest, usually not throwing that much as he drops back the pass here. Pressure on him, gets hit, and the running back takes a huge... But they're making this first drive look much easier. Shepard changing the play here as he drops back. Steps up, looking. He's going to run. Look at the strength as he gets out into the open field. Lined up in the single back. It's first and goal now. Three wide. Shepard dropping back. Standing in the pocket, standing, looking, moving, rolling right now. He's got an opening. He's going to run it in. Touchdown. Lakewood, Shepard using his legs. So after the turnover, here comes Lakewood out for their second possession of the game. Shepard did a lot on his legs the last time. Let's see if he goes to the air. Here they are in the single back formation lined up. Here comes play action. Shepard hit as he throws, but gets it off anyway. Touchdown. Lakewood, way to hang in there by Shepard as he took a huge lick but still got it to his receiver. Just seems like you can't keep the ball out of Lakewood's hands. 14-0 now, they come out, first play of this third drive. Shepard drops back all day to throw. Has a man wide open down the middle of the field. No one's going to catch him. Touchdown, Lakewood. Second and 10 after the misfire by Shepard on the last play. They line up in the single back formation. Shepard steps back. Looking. Got a man on the right hand side here. Out of bounds he goes after a second and 17 now after the sack. And Shepard's going to line up in the single back as they drop back here. Looking. Gets his wide receiver over the middle and they quickly gain. Now a manageable third and two now for Shepard and Lakewood as they come out in the single back. Shepard drops back. Protection is there. Very good. Looking still. Gets hit. Shrugs off the hit. Is he still looking? He's trying to escape now. Now this is getting Donovan McNabbish as he rolls out to the left. Looking for the first down. Fighting. Fumbles the football. It's picked up by Lindhurst. And that's the first turnover of the game for Lakewood. It's like he can't do any wrong. First and 10 now after the quick turnover by Lindhurst. Puts Lakewood back out here. As Shepard drops back the pass. Looking. Gets sacked on the play. Lakewood comes out in the gun now with two in the backfield with Shepard. Lindhurst showing blitz here. Shepard takes a snap. Busted coverage over the middle of the field. Wide open is the receiver for a quick touchdown. 27. And just look at those first half numbers. Amazing performance thus far. Still not out of the first half yet. And here comes Lakewood out for another possession. Shepard in the gun as he takes the snap. Moving right. Looking. Man downfield open. How is Lindhurst not covering these guys? They're first and 10 now for Lakewood inside the Lindhurst 40. Shepard takes the snap, steps up, 
Fires downfield. Jump ball, got it. No way, he fumbled it. Linderhurst recovers the football, and Shepard does not look happy. He walks off very, very happy. Well, now Shepard gets a second chance before the uh, half ends here as he takes the snap from the single back. Throws right side towards the sideline. Hits it. Shepard takes the snap. Steps up, looking, got some room on the left-hand side. He's running, gets shoved by one defender, brought down. And after spending their final timeout, they're going to be looking towards the end zone. Shepard and the shotgun as they've got four wide. Shepard drops back. A diving catch by the tight end. Fortunately, the first down gives them enough time, but they've got to hurry now. Seven, six, Shepard takes the snap quickly to his fullback. Touchdown, Lakewood. I don't know what the ref saw there, but that was a touchdown. As Lakewood is ready to put the finishing touches on Lindhurst. Shepard steps up, stepping up, running now to the outside, slide. First and 10 now after that quick little run. It's going to be uh, Shepard in the single back formation with three wide. As he steps back and quickly fires on a quick slant, and he's free! Touchdown, Lakewood, 41-0. I'm just surprised that they're keeping Shepard out of here. Now on second and 12, as Shepard drops back now, looking, feeling the pressure, rolling right, looking for someone downfield, fires, incomplete. And on third and 12, it looks like Lakewood's going to be throwing it again, as Shepard brings a man in motion. Steps back now, looking. Deep ball, downfield, got him again! Here they come now, third and goal. This time at the one yard line, they line up in the single back and I think everybody knows what's gonna be called here. Shepard rolls out left, fires a little under for his fullback but still gets in, touchdown Lakewood! Another dominant blowout win for Lakewood, Andy. You did it all. You had 500 plus total yards of offense, seven total touchdowns. Your team is now 7-0. How do you make it look so easy? Well, <laughs> it, it's not. Uh, I, I come out and I play the game, just keep playing at a high level. Andy, what kind of advice would you give to someone in your shoes or a kid who's going through the high school process? You know, just keep working hard. Put in your time, stay out of trouble, and keep practicing. You can be just like me. All right, Andy, everybody's wondering when that list is going to get smaller. Any news on a school decision yet? I haven't decided yet, but I've narrowed it down to my final six schools. Southern Cal. Cal Berkeley. Tennessee. South Carolina. Arizona State and the University of Miami.